You know, it's been 10 days since that earthquake that rattled the tri-state. Yeah, and today scientists took some steps to learn more about the shaking. News 4 Shed Maxfield live in Lebanon, New Jersey to show us what they did today. Jen. That's right. And Natalie and Adam, in fact, there are scientists here today all the way from the University of Texas. They were installing a seismometer here at the Hunter and County Arboretum. A seismometer is a device that actually goes underground and measures aftershocks in this epicenter area here. It gives scientists a more precise look at the fault that shifted, delivering New Jersey its largest earthquake in more than 100 years. More than 100 seismometers are going into the ground in Hunterdon County to monitor ongoing aftershocks. And with enough seismometers and with, uh, be, we'll be able to pinpoint this with some of the aftershocks that are still occurring. It will help us locate it. Ten days after New Jersey's largest earthquake in more than 100 years, some people who live near the epicenter continue to feel uneasy. And we had a thunderstorm roll in yesterday, and I think a lot of people do have like PTSD because you don't know if it's a thunder or if it's an aftershock. Geologists who study earthquakes say the more than 50 aftershocks since April 5th are actually on the lower side. And while the 4.8 earthquake is relatively mild compared to others around the world, its unusual location in New Jersey is prompting scientists to want to learn more. So when they happen, you know, certainly above magnitude four and a half or so, and definitely when they're close to an, a large urban center, uh, we, are, we are definitely interested in studying the earthquake. The fault where the earthquake happened has not been definitively identified, but it's believed to run north-south. These underground seismometers may deliver more clues and even maybe predictions for the future. The more you deploy, the better uh, imaging you get of what's going on beneath our feet. And it's not just scientists from the University of Texas, scientists from Rutgers and the USGS are all involved in installing these dozens of seismometers around the epicenter here. And we understand from speaking with some of these researchers today that since Friday the 12th, no aftershock has measured more than 1.5. And that's a sign, these researchers say, that the aftershocks are really tapering off after more than 50 in the last 10 days. That's the latest live from Lebanon, New Jersey. I'm Jen Maxfield, News 4 New York. Yeah, good to hear their minor aftershocks. Jen, thank you so much.